Welcome to my presentation for Advanced Digital Design. Today I'm going to be explaining my app application that I made for uh, the public library in Spain, Valencia. So the brief was asking for a mobile application for the Valencia's public libraries, and it needed several processes such as searching for books, reservations, returns, and other typical tasks, as well as other functions um, such as the location of the libraries, reviews, and reading online, etc. Uh, first, I did a research for libraries in Valencia. Here are some of the ones that I did. One of them was Public Library of Valencia, and the other one was the Valencian Library. I also did app analysis. Um, I analyzed certain apps to see um, how they were made, uh, what they had. Um, for example, here is one, my book. Um, I searched specifically things that had applications that had books included in them. Um, another one was My Library app, uh, Brune Library, Lower Country Public Library, and my conclusion was that um, there weren't a lot of apps that had very good design. They were usable, however, it, it wasn't um, ideal. I think there has to be an update in how it's designed, the structure as well as the actual design. And uh, we, I think it's very important to have more consideration of the users. Uh, a good idea that I came up with while looking at a different app, which is called the Bookshelf Reading Tracker, is to have an, a way to record your progress or to get um, goals, to have goals on your app. Um, while you get books from the library. I also did some research for the user, so the target audience. Um, I wanted to focus on 14 to 24, however, um, that is not the only <clears throat> age range I would be going for. I would also take into consideration uh, people from 25 to 45. Um, I wanted to use similar formats of apps that they're already used to, so to get the sense of familiarity with the app. Um, here is a empathy map. Um, some interview questions I came up with to ask users. Uh, the conclusions. The user persona. So um, I came up with Maria Jose. She's a 20 year old uh, university student who frequents the library to study every day after, after classes. And she likes Instagram the best because she can post content and talk with her friends. Here's the customer journey that I won't get into detail. Um, so for the app introduction, the general needs of the app, so the most basic needs for the app are book reservations, table reservations, event reservations, the login, or the sign-up screens. And they're the most fundamental for an app to actually function. Um, I also think it's necessary to make the app uh, different from all the other uh, library apps that I researched. Um, the most important thing to keep in mind when creating the app is the target audience and also their needs. And that being said, I think the most important thing for a user is clarity and understandability of the app. Everything has to have a clear structure that is followed throughout the interface of the design. And another thing that's important to take into account is um, the needs of users with maybe a sort of disability to help them be able to use the app as well. Uh, I can't focus solely on one target audience. I also want to include um, other people as well when designing the app. <clears throat> Moving on to the wireframes. So my general vision for the wireframes was uh, something simple. Uh, with the analysis that I did of the other library apps, I came to these conclusions. Um, I want something easy, that clear, that benefits the needs of the target audience, <clears throat> as well as designing a functional library application. Um, for the access, this is my login and my sign-up sheets. I had several complications or changes that I had to make to make the app easier for the, for the user. <clears throat> for the home page, I wanted it to be very simple. Uh, where it showed like different genres, top rated books that you need to read, uh, suggestions, staff recommendations, and stuff like that. 
making it simple and very intuitive for the user. For the lists, um, I came up with three different designs to accommodate all different types of books, magazines, CDs, movies, etc. For the search part, um, I did not complete the, the wireframe, however, it, in the beginning it has to already have some suggestions coming up for you. For example, oh, these are some that you recently read, some that you recently looked up, uh, trending topics, and stuff like that. And I also included a page where um, what you wrote isn't available or if it was written incorrectly. For the reservations part, there is a book reservation and um, a reservation for uh, events. So for the book reservation, it, directly on the title page where, where the book is, it tells you if the book is available or not. <coughs> And for the events, you have to put in your information, your name, your library card, if you hadn't already put it in the application, and then just make a reservation and a message will be sent to your account. Some services are um, part of those ideas that I got in the analysis part of apps. I came up with the idea of tracking a reading goal and as well as uh, the amount of time you read throughout the day. It was originally placed in the profile place, but later I changed it after careful evaluation. I came to the conclusion that I had to create a new menu option for it to um, make it stick out so the user can actually see it uh, efficiently and use it. So I did some neat tests with users. I tried out the wireframes with, with several people and I got some feedback. So for the test, um, I had to definitely add more pages. The app did not have enough pages um, to create a functional app. I also had to change some minor details to, to improve the, the user experience. And um, one of the things that the first user really liked was the comments section where you can get real life comments and ratings about the, about the books. And for my second user, um, they got a little bit confused with the inputs and buttons because they all had similar colors or they changed throughout the entire app and they weren't sure which was which. Um, I also had to um, add a cancel reservation, which I had not added in the beginning. Um, <clears throat> and for the library page, I had a, a short problem where the information that I put in the wireframes and the information when you clicked was exactly the same, so I had to fix that. And something that was positive is that um, it had a goal indicator, um, but like I mentioned earlier, there were some complications with it. Um, it wasn't easy to see, so I switched it to the home area. So the conclusion was um, I had to make it different, like differentiate, differentiate uh, buttons and inputs, increase the number of pages, and fix some of the details. Going on to the design, um, I wanted to keep it very ocean like ocean themed because I wanted to add some of the Wellington charm into the application as we know Wellington is known for uh, the ocean. I also wanted to keep correlation with shapes and the apps, the shapes and the buttons and inputs and so I chose to use the same colors of the ocean in the design and on the button. I also wanted to make the buttons bulky and the inputs bulky as well so that they're easily seen and clickable. Um, in the introduction to my UI kit, the UI kit consists of all the general designs and all the information found in the application, including color palette, typography, icons, button shapes, etc. And it was developed to fit all the needs of the users and the needs of the application to work. For my color palette, I choose, chose these two specific colors because I felt like I had to do a lot with the ocean. So I chose this uh, pastel color, which is also very trendy, um, this pastel blue and a pastel coral orange um, to represent the, the ocean. Uh, both of the colors passed the AA test with the, with the black or the background color. For typography, I wanted it to be uh, an easy to read typography with different variations with a lot of possibilities. So I chose inter, so inter light, intermedium, and inter black. 
the icon, I wanted them to be fine lines, simple and easy to understand. And all the apps seen on the bottom are found throughout the entire page, throughout the entire application. The buttons consist of these three colors, mostly the blue, um, but they can be found in the application. For the shapes, like I mentioned, I wanted to keep something um, ocean themed. So these are the, the shapes that I chose. For the forms, I used this color to differentiate them from, from the buttons. As for feedback, here are some of the things that will be found throughout the app. The navigation, the, some of the cards that I used. And there's a specific change that I had to make in the design, which is um, some of the designs had black and it made the text not easily legible. So I came up with the decision of changing everything to get rid of this black uh, line so that the legibility of the app would still be good. The final app, here are some mockups on an iPad, on phones, and we will be moving on to the app flow. Here we have the initial part. It comes up to, oh, what language do you want to choose? English, continue, and you have the option of signing up, go through the sign up process. You can change the avatar, continue, continue, choose your genres, and you can add a library card or skip the step, we'll skip the step, and it takes you to the home section, where you can also choose to add a library card. So if we put a uh, sign in, it takes you to the library card, you press continue, and you no longer have it, although if you go back to home, it will keep showing up because that's how, how it was programmed on there. Um, we have lists of books. So moving on to the search section, here we have the recently searched, recommendations, trending. And if you press here, we have a filter where you can choose items. And you can pick the book, for example, Yellow Face. And here you have a reserved book as well as ratings. You can add your own rating and see um, different reviews. And you can comment on the reviews as well. You also have here um, an option to see all the books written by the same author. Moving on to the libraries, you can pick out any library that is in Valencia. Uh, whichever one is closest to you, whichever one interests you. And the information of the library comes up, so when it's open, as well as where it's found, telephone number, uh, website, um, some of the functions it has, and you can go directly here to event a table or go to events uh, of that library. Uh, for example, family story time. You say, oh, I want to make a reservation. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to make a reservation. Let's go back have the option of going directly back to libraries or going to the library events. Uh, it, this is a function that was created for users with vision disability or um, any type of disability that may not let them touch the screen. Now if we want to rent a table, we can go to rent a table, make a reservation, and then a reservation will be automatically made and it brings you back to the libraries. For the timer, this is the, the place that I mentioned earlier where you can um, time how much you read, have a reading goal, daily reading goals, as well as yearly book goals, how many books you want to read. And you can go and see um, your past uh, goals. And it also tells you how many you have currently read uh, out of all the ones that you want to read to reach your yearly goal. For the profile, it has an edit profile as well as books checked out, reservations, and reservations. Um, if you press one of the books, it lets you cancel the reservation and it asks you, are you sure you want to cancel? If you say yes, it goes to cancel reservation, has been canceled, and it tells you to go search for more books. Now if we go back to profile and the notifications, you can get notifications for certain things like recommendations, book return, book availability, when a book becomes available again, um, the completion of your goals, uh, a reading goal reminder, and maybe some streaks. 
and that is the flow of the top. So going back to the presentation, um, there are some empty states which is um, not shown in the flow because um, I want to show everything that was available. However, if you don't have any reservations, it comes up with a, a with a button that says if you don't have any reservations, you can go look for more books as well as maybe not having a, a result for one of your searches. It asks you, is this one what you meant or maybe you'd like this other book? And also the possibility of the book not being available and to send you a notification to let you know when the book is available. Some of the improvements that could be made in the app would be um, uh, maybe adding a section where you can add which book you read to your um, time, your, your book goal. And I actually had this app tested and there was one particular thing that was said to me which was to add a text on the menu because they didn't understand the meaning of some of the options available. And with that in mind, I quickly updated the app to, facil to facilitate any user that might be having understanding the difficulties understanding it. Um, and in addition, I also added that fun back function that you saw earlier of inspiration for Apple. Um, the application could improve in certain areas. For example, um, maybe places where you can add notes or phrases that you found interesting in the book. And um, I could also maybe add more uh, improvements for people with disabilities, maybe some other options. Um, and yes, although the design is very nice and unique, I think it can sometimes harm the user experience because of the color contrast. So maybe that's something to take into account uh, for future improvements. Here are my links. And thank you for listening to my presentation.